In quantum physics, particles exist in many states at once until you measure them. Can reality really work that way? The standard interpretation of quantum mechanics places a lot of emphasis on the act of measurement. Before measurement, quantum systems exist in many states at once. After measurement, the system collapses into a specific value, so it's natural to ask what's really going on when measurements don't take place. There isn't a clear answer, and different ideas can go in some really wild directions. One of the first lessons that physicists learned when they started examining subatomic systems in the early 20th century was that we do not live in a deterministic universe. In other words, we cannot precisely predict the outcome of every experiment. For example, if you shoot a beam of electrons through a magnetic field, half of the electrons will curve in one direction while the other half will curve in the opposite direction. While we can build mathematical descriptions of where the electrons go as a group, we cannot say which direction each electron will take until we actually perform the experiment. For any experiment that can result in many random outcomes, before we make a measurement, the system is said to be in a superposition of all possible states simultaneously. When we make a measurement, the system collapses into a single state that we observe. The tools of quantum mechanics are there to make some sense out of this chaos. Instead of giving precise predictions for how a system will evolve, quantum mechanics tells us how superposition will evolve. When we make a measurement, Quantum mechanics tells us the probabilities of getting one outcome over another. And that's it. Standard quantum mechanics is silent as to how this superposition actually works and how measurement does the job of collapsing the superposition into a single result. But what does that mean for quantum systems when we're not measuring them? What does the universe really look like? Does everything exist but we are simply unaware of it? Or does it not really have a defined state until measurement takes place? Here's a highly simplified version. Put a cat in a box. Also put in the box some sort of radioactive element that is tied to the release of a poisonous gas. It doesn't matter how you do it, the point is to introduce some ingredient of quantum uncertainty into the situation. If you wait a while, you won't know for sure if the element has decayed so you won't know if the poison has been released and thus if the cat is alive or dead. In a strict reading of quantum mechanics, the cat is neither alive nor dead at this stage, it exists in a quantum superposition of both alive and dead. Only when we open the box will we know for sure, and it's also the act of opening the box that allows that superposition to collapse and the cat to suddenly exist in one state or the other. So does reality exist when we're not looking? The ultimate answer is that it appears to be a matter of interpretation. Different philosophical schools and scientific interpretations provide different answers, and the nature of reality remains a subject of ongoing debate and exploration. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.